necesito que me cuentes lo que pasó. Parte de este proceso es que los dos reconecten lo que se rompió como hermanos. Do you feel you can see evil from a different perspective? Uh, have you these villains changed the way you see evil? Uh, I don't know. There, are, I mean, uh, I, I would like to think that there are different people, different energies, different motives. Uh, when you're playing a real person ha that has done, as they say, it's so wrong and so harm, so much harm to others, it's a different, it's a different scenario than playing somebody that is a fictional character. Uh, in this case, it was delicate, uh, but also I love the way Ray Murphy and Ian Brennan approached the material and how he managed, they managed to, to uh, make a portrait of the whole situation from different points of view. So there is not, there's no one statement about it. It's, there's no judgment. It's like, this is what they say it happened and we have to pay attention to that and make your own uh, uh, idea about it. Eric and John matamos a nuestros padres juntos. Eso nos vincula bastante, ¿no? It's interesting to me to talk to you after the series has premiered and everyone is seeing it. It's not usual, but how is it for you as actors to see the impact that the series is having? It's pretty overwhelming and Um, overwhelming in a good way. I mean, it's so, you know, you audition and audition and audition for years and you just want to get a part and then you kind of get like, <clears throat> you win the lottery in a way. It's like the greatest gift ever. And so to be seen and uh, have so much um, response is like, it's, it's absolutely thrilling and amazing. I had an idea. I think people are, you know, really fascinated with the Menendez. And of course there's this like, TikTok craze over the boys. People are very finding a lot of empathy for them and how vulnerable they were on the stand. And, and there's a lot of discourse continually around them. And of course, Dahmer was a great hit and people are just endlessly fascinated with true crime and you know how you know life is stranger than fiction. And so there, there was a certain expectation that, that, that this would hit pretty hard. So it's not really a big surprise. No lo estás entendiendo, no lo puedes entender, Eric, lo hicimos. De verdad, lo hicimos. Cooper, after watching the fifth episode, the series took an even more painful and shocking path. How did you film that painful moment? Did you shoot a lot of takes? How did you manage to experience so many emotions? Because everything happens in, in one scene with no cuts. Um, yeah, I mean, I think... Yeah, it's moment to moment, you know, and uh, it's, you kind of just live through it, I think. And I, my goal, one one of the best pieces of direction that Michael Uppendahl, our director, gave me was defend your parents till the end of the day and just be open to Leslie. Be open to what she's asking you and what she's saying. And that sort of brought this, a, a lot of opposite choices. You know, you would read it and you would think, oh, this is so this needs to be so heavy and so dark. And I really was trying in every place I could to find some sliver of light. Um, and uh, yeah, we did, we shot it over two days. There were four takes the first day, four takes the second day, and they ended up choosing the very last take, so. Eric, yo sé que estarían muy orgullosos. 